I don't think it's any lesser than what it was in the uh, 2011 World Cup. As far as preparation is concerned, uh, it's difficult for me to remember exactly what we went through just before the start of the 2011 World Cup. But uh, as far as this preparation is concerned, I think uh, we have had a perfect scenario. We started from Australia playing three T20s over there, followed by a bilateral series at home. Then, uh, you know, a tournament like uh, Asia Cup we played. So uh, we are looking on track. Uh, so the preparation looks good. Uh, I've said, you know, fitness will be one of the concerns uh, I still remember, you know, to some extent, I spoke about fitness during the 2011 World Cup also, because fitness, because of fitness, you may lose uh, one of the first 11, which you don't want. So till it's not a, a ball hit injury or something like that, you know, uh, we'll be quite happy. And uh, I feel overall the preparation and the team is looking good. Well, I, I'm not here to give answers to anyone. Uh, uh, you know, as I've said, you know, in, in, the, in the finals also, I said India losing the Asia Cup final to Bangladesh is a bigger headlines, you know, than India winning the final. So uh, I feel a lot of people keep talking about a lot of stuff. Uh, but from my side, what is important is the role and responsibility that I have in the team. And as, I, as I've said, you know, looking at the 11 you know, that will play the first game, let's say, for example, I know where I'll get to bat, you know, what will be my opportunity or what kind of role I have. So, you know, for the team, I have to fulfill those roles, you know, more than, you know, looking at uh, what others are saying or what critics are saying. You know, they, they'll always criticize a few things because uh, they feel, you know, this should be done or, you know, this is something uh, that can be done. But what's important is from the player's side to see what the team needs. You know, you don't always have to look good. What's important is even if you're looking ugly and if it's not really your role and responsibility, but if the team is winning, that's what is the first and foremost thing. Well, what I uh, definitely feel happy about is at least going into, you know, if, if for example, we are fielding right from the very first over, I know who's going to bowl death for me. And, you know, that's a big relief. More often than not, I think uh, looking at the team, 99% of the time, I know who's bowling the death. And I feel in the last few years, at times, uh, you know, after I go in, after seeing how everybody is bowling, you know, close to the 15 or 20th over mark, I had to start getting things around so as to who's bowling the best, what the condition are and according to that who I will use in the slog over. So it's a relief to have specific death bowlers and at the same time the whole bowling department is bowling well so the job becomes much more easy. Uh, you just have to take that extra responsibility and bowl well and bat well. So. Uh, Definitely, I don't have to put in a lot of effort as to, you know, who will bowl when or who's the best bowler for death. Well, to start off, uh, when it comes to my role and responsibility, uh, I, I, f I felt not everybody can fluctuate according to the needs. And that's something it's important that every player tries to do it because uh, at times, as I've said, if you have a good partnership, then who should go in? And then when you have that flexibility in your batting, you know, and more often than not, it's the mental flexibility that's really needed. So everybody knows what their role and responsibility is. Uh, again, if you have that adaptability factor, uh, what becomes very useful for the side is, let's say, for example, you know, if the opposition has two left arm spinners. If you see the Indian team right now, we have the right combination of having left-handers and right-hander batsmen. So if you're then rigid and say, okay, you know, this is the slot that this batsman bats, you know, he has to go before the other batsman. Ideally, a left-right combination is the best to have. But if the opposition doesn't have, you know, any off-spinner in their side and the wicket is turning, then why not promote somebody, you know, who bats maybe at six? but he can bat at four and you can have two left-handers at the same time. So this kind of adaptability is really needed. And I feel, you know, slowly each and everyone is open to the idea and uh, they have played enough to, you know, have that kind of an exposure. And as far as Virat is concerned, uh, you know, I have found finisher, usually when you talk about finishers, uh, you know, usually for me, it's the lower order batsman. You know, the top order batsman usually is there to set up the innings, but it's always good to have somebody like a Virat, you know, who's batting at number three, but still has that thing of, you know, finishing the game. Uh, but often you'll see, you know, it's, it's, let's say, for example, if opposition have scored 300 runs, what becomes important is for your number five, six and seven 
to have that responsibility of finishing the game you know the entire setup is for the lower order batsman you know for the lower middle order to finish the game if your top order is doing it you know it's fantastic but the finishing term is more often than not it's a very specific term and should be used with players who bat at 5 6 and 7 you know if your openers are batting really well and uh, if they are you know continuously winning games for you you may call them finisher in a way but usually i term that finishing job role to people who bat more lower down the order because the the requirements are very different the job profile is very different you know as you come more down the order you have to think twice before hitting because the number of batsmen that are there batting after you keeps on you know going on the lesser side so somebody who bats at 5 he knows there's two batsmen after them so i feel it's a it's a more complex job of uh, saying who is a finisher and not but you know having players like virat if you have like three virat kohli's batting you know two opening and one batting at number 3 more often than not one of them will definitely be by the finish uh, by the end of the game